That's great. It's very tall up there. Awesome. I'm going to come take a look inside. Can I walk in with yeah. my camera? Yeah, go for it. Right on. The door's, the door's a little low, so you just want to get That's okay. I'm not through. super tall, so it works out. Let my camera adjust here. Oh. So you've got a whole kitchen. Oh, and a spiffy shower. Oh, okay, and you've got a very nice big size bed there. 12 volt refrigerator and 12 volt lights. So it all runs off the solar panels on the roof. Oh, so Or, or oh, the awesome. alternator. Okay, here we are today with uh, Kim and Lynn Bolton from Australia and they are here in our beautiful town of Seldovia on an adventure from all the way from Australia and we just had a moment to check inside the van and I'll hopefully be able to show that to you in a bit but wanted to get your impressions Kim of your time in, in Alaska and Soldovia especially. Well Soldovia is great I mean you've turned on the weather today it's something special. Yeah, that was just for you that was yeah, just for you. A bit, bit of Australian sunshine here at the moment. Perfect. Yeah no it was great we went to Red Mountain yesterday and walked that that was quite special really like that up there geologically quite a fascinating place. Yeah Love like anything you'd seen before in, in any of yeah, your treks? No, or? It's, it's, diff it's different sort of country altogether. Um, mm -hmm. No, vastly different to everywhere else we've been and that's why we come to the end of the roads to look for things a little bit different to what we normally see and Red Mountain satisfied our curiosity here so that was good. Great. Yeah. Now how did you hear about Soldovia? Because that's uh, just, obviously... Yeah well we hadn't planned to. We planned to come as far as Homer and someone said oh you've got to go to Red Mountain so we ticked the box and said yeah let's where is that and checked it out and here we are. Great. Now tell me a little bit about your your van here. Your well, it's based camper. on the Mitsubishi Canter, or you call it in the States, the FG84. Um, I've converted it to a pop-top camper, so it goes into a 20-foot shipping container. For us, being Australia being an island, it makes it economical to ship around the world. And um, we shipped it to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, in May last year. Drove it through Southeast Asia, China, Tibet, Mongolia, Russia. Mm -hmm. And then from Vladivostok to Long Beach, we shipped it and spent uh, five weeks in Texas, New Mexico. Went home for a couple of months, came back, did a month in Baja, then two months north to Calgary. Left it there, back home for a couple of months to catch up with grandchildren and family. And now we've got three months in, in Alaska and Western Canada and we'll store it up again and then head next year South America, Central America and places beyond. There you go. <laughs> well one of the things that we've talked about a little bit is just the fact that um, shipping a vehicle is really a unique thing and you've kind of worked the bugs out and um, how, how can someone maybe pick your brain a little bit? Maybe go into your website? Go and... to the website, goanifax.com okay. and there's a whole portfolio there of basically how to ship a vehicle around the world all the customs logistics that you need to understand. Um, it's not that difficult but it takes time to research it and uh, not only have we researched I guess we've done it as well too right. so it's been a lot of fun doing that and it's not so easy you just got to get your calendar out get your black felt pen and say that's what I'm going and damn we'll do it. There you go well good well we thank you for taking a minute with us here today and we'll share this with our Soldovia folks and it's fun to have someone come from all the way across the world, as you can see on this beautiful map here, how far you've come. Thanks, Jenny. All right. Well, thank you, Ken. And we'll say goodbye to Lynn, too, real quick. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Cheers.